Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Wycliffe American Champagne. It was recommended uh, when I went to buy wine at Specs the other day on their website. And so I figured it's, it's $7.99. So why not? Just why not? Let's, let's, let's see how it's going to go. Uh, the other thing about it is uh, this is a resealable screw top bottle. So I guess screw top plus one. Resealable plus another one? Maybe? I don't know. Um, let's see how it works opening. Oh, that sounds dangerous. There's all sorts of weird sounds. Okay, okay. Let's pour some and then I guess <laughs> it's a screw top <laughs> sparkling wine cork thing. I mean, I poured a lot there. I don't even know if it's going to be good. Here's what it looks like. Yeah, so uh, it says, <laughs> basically screw it in until you hear it click twice. Well, nothing clicked. Good enough. Anyway, from a color standpoint, I'm going to give you a Pale lemon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. Also to note, almost no carbonation coming out of this thing. So um, either just opening it made it go flat or just this has very, very low carbonation to begin with. Uh, anyway, on the nose, medium intensity on the nose. It smells like a little bit of apple and pear cider. This might be a fast review today. Uh, <laughs> let's get to the days. Believe it or not, it's not horrible at all it's 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 not complicated it's apple pear a little bit of lemon that's it that's all you get a little bit of fizziness the the carbonation is retained in the body it's not really expressing itself like real secondary method in the bottle spark, sparkling wines do there's no offensive taste pretty much a clean almost clean finish just maybe seven eight seconds uh it has medium body high acid low alcohol taste, actual like bubbles that you get, the, the, the frothiness once it moves around in your mouth, they're they're decent, they're not too small bubbles, they're not too big, they're not, they don't feel rough with the acid. I'm actually a little surprised by this. One thing I will say is as you move it around a bit and the acid kind of accumulates to your palate, that, that lemon goes to like a, like a weak lemon candy in terms of like, it's not super sweet, it's just there, but it's like a candied lemon. I mean, there's really not much to say about this wine, so let's get to the Blick. Uh, in terms of balance, I'll actually give you a full point here. I don't, I don't have any complaints. Length, you're almost a clean finish, so I'm not going to give you any points. Intensity, medium across the board, half a point. And in terms of complexity, you're not complex. So, I mean, as a sparkling wine, this is an okay wine. I mean, it's one of those where if you have someone who's really not into complex sparkling wines, they don't like something super sparkly. This isn't bad. They're gonna enjoy it. It's, I mean, you could also use it as a base for like mimosas and stuff. It actually has a nice little fizziness and has some decent flavors on its own. High acid, so it can be worked into mixed drinks really well. Well, but um, it's not like it's not anything you're gonna get from champagne. Okay, but now we have to do what we do with all sparkling wines on this channel, unless I'm a dumbass and I forget. Does it shambong? All right, so I have the, the trusty shambong here. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Cheers. <clears throat> that shambongs very nicely. Uh, it, there's a, the acid persists and you get the flavors still. Nothing's crazy. Um, once everything settles, the gas shoots up really fast, thus the sham burp. Yeah, it, it doesn't hurt to drink and it doesn't make the flavor taste off. It retains all the same quality. So yeah, it's shambongs. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Wycliffe American Champagne with the fancy schmancy resealable screw top? 
fancy schmancy. Remember, double points. I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dive.